video to how to actually install the redirect script that will redirect um, mobile users from your main website to your mobile website. So I'm just going to open up FileZilla again. Right, so what we need to do is uh, we need to edit the uh, either the, the pages of your website, depending on what type it is, whether it be a WordPress blog or whether it be a, a standard website. So what I've got here is I've got um, my domain selected, which is theamazingself.com. Now, please note, this is not the mobile domain. This is the main domain of your website. So what I want to do is edit the index file to include the redirect script. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click view edit. Now the HTML uh, editing software are recommended to you um, in the download page is a program called Coffee Cup which is what my um, um, what my FileZilla automatically um, chooses. So I'm just going to minimize this a bit to get into the screen. Uh, bear with me. Right, so this is Coffee Cup. This is your main editing screen. Um, now, if I just pull up the first mobile redirect script. So basically what you're doing is this mobile redirect script will insert a message at the top of the web page asking users whether they would like to visit the mobile optimized version of your website. And this message will only appear to those users on a mobile device. Uh, this script works for those users with and without JavaScript enabled. So basically what we need to do is we need to place all of the code below here before the end head tag now remember obviously you'll notice that it's actually set to google.com at the present and obviously you need to change that to your whatever your mobile website um, name. previous version or in the, the example I gave my actual domain was m dot the amazing self dot com so that's the domain I want this script to actually divert to when it, it uh, recognizes that it's a mobile website, it's a, a mobile user, sorry, that's trying to access your website. So what, all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to replace Google with that. So I'm just going to paste that in there and it appears down here as well. So again, just going to paste that in there and it also appears down here. So three times it appears on the script. So paste that in there. So that's fine. So following the instructions, uh, all you need to do is place all of this code before the head tag. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to select all this code. I'm going to copy. Right, so here's, here's the start head tag of the index file. And here's the end tag of the index file. So all I'm going to do is click into white space. Now if there's no white space there, then obviously you just need to make white space by clicking at the start of a line and clicking enter. So you've got white space. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to do paste. And that's your redirect script as in place. Now what will happen is, is obviously this script, what it does is it, it basically looks at the browser that's visiting your website and if the browser is less than or equal to 590 pixels wide then it will redirect automatically to your mobile website, wherever that may be. And there's also another couple of sizes here that are based on uh, compatible um, types of mobiles. Don't worry about that, it's all pretty much standard. So all you need to do now is save that. And 
click yes and what that does it will update the index file so we now go to uh, our mobile website which is this address here I'm just going to refresh this because I've had to set up a, a WordPress blog as well <laughs> I just put up a nonsense uh, website that I'm <laughs> kicking about my, my hard drive so just ignore it Okay, now at the moment it's not actually displaying that code. Now the reason being is obviously the website recognises the fact that I'm accessing this website from um, a, a normal PC. So obviously the browser width is out with those sizes. So all I'm going to do is just to test it, is I'm going to bring it back up. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to change this figure to a, a huge size so that it will even detect whether uh, I'm accessing from a, 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 a non-mobile device. So I'm just going to save it again and of course that won't upload to the server will it? No. What I need to do is actually close that. I'm just going to close this. Bring back up FileZilla. Oh, wait a minute, maybe it did save it. Okay, just try refreshing this page, and what should happen is it should, uh, yep, that has come up. So it's asking you now if you want to click here for our mobile site, and obviously you can change this message to whatever you want. So it works. Now, obviously, remember to change that back, otherwise, it will always display that. So I'm just going to view edit, and it should open coffee cup up again <coughs> and all we're going to do is we're going to change that back to 599 pixels and just save that and just upload it again and that should have changed it back to normal should take this message away and it does so it's working fine now the next part of it is, is for a very small major, uh, minority of uh, mobile users they don't have what they call JavaScript um, installed on their mobile phone and for those users this script won't work but this one will what we need to do again is just copy and paste our domain and replace the google.com so I'm just going to copy and paste so we just need to copy this code here copy and now this needs to go directly under the first body tag so we'll go back to our Fizella oh, wait a minute, I've still got this open so, so what we're looking for is the first body tag and if you find the end head tag the first body tag should be directly underneath it so I'm just going to get some white space underneath the body tag and paste and save and you can actually close this down now and just upload it back up to the server and that's you done anytime that somebody comes to your website now from a mobile device it will display that message saying um, do you want to visit click here to visit our mobile website so that's you done and dusted okay right now if it's a WordPress uh, website that you've got it's slightly different so I'm just going to open up FileZilla again server again scroll down to public HTML and scroll down to the amazing self
Now again, please note this is not your mobile website, it's your main domain website. And I'm just going to delete that uh, index file. Delete, otherwise it won't show the WordPress. So for WordPress it's slightly different. What you need to do is you need to actually open up your admin panel uh, of your WordPress site. Now this is where we're at. This is, uh, if I just take you back actually to your admin panel. Right, so what you need to do is log into your admin panel. And this is just a set test site I've put up just to show you how this works. And all you need to do is come down to Appearance, Appearance, go into Editor, and where we need to insert this code is into the header. So you click on Header, and just make sure you're at Header PHP, and we are. So there's the start head tag. And there's the end head tag. So all we need to do is follow the instructions. Is we need to place all of this code before the head tag, the end head tag. Okay, so again, all we're going to do is we're going to copy all that code. Copy. And there's the end head tag. So all we need to do is make a, a white space. Then click paste. And then we need to do the same for the body tag again. So we need to enter this code. Copy and that goes under the body tag okay so now again the end head tag and the start body tag should be right next to each other now wordpress is it's not just cut and dried where all you've got is purely a body tag there'll be code after it now it might be different in your blog don't worry about it but what you need to do is select the end uh, chevron, make a, a white space and then paste that code in and just remember to update the file. Now if somebody comes to your WordPress website from a mobile device it will give them the option to click here to visit your uh, mobile website. Now, uh, just let's see, to test it again, all we need to do is look for that code again. So we've got the screen width less than or equal to 599 pixels. So we just make that an incredibly huge size again. Oh, just incidentally, before I change that, I'm just going to show you the the website as it stands without that code being changed. So normal WordPress website, no code, no redirect script, no asking you if you want to visit the mobile website. So I've changed the size to 5000 so it will, it will work. So I'm just going to update the file again. Just refresh this and it should come up with the message at the top again, like it did in the previous example. And there it is, click here for a mobile site. Now, while I'm on the case, the second redirect script, no matter, um, it doesn't give you that option. What it will do is it will automatically, if it detects that uh, you're coming from a mobile website to your website it will automatically redir redirect to the mobile website it won't give them the option to click here to visit the mobile website so what script you uh, decide is best for for your business is up to you but you've got both 